Hello everybody, this is that Zoo, and this is part 8 of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Part 8. So let's load up the data. Load it up. Get down to the Y here, the final regular zone of the game. The rest are just single act zones. Sonic's ready. And Metropolis Zone. I hate Metropolis Zone. Like, a lot. I hate it. Wing Fortress is second, but we'll get there. I hate this zone. And the worst part is that's three acts instead of two. Why did they have to make it three acts? Well, on the Sonic 2 beta, there was, a, there was an unused level called Genocide City Zone, which was a single act zone. Well, they didn't use it because of the name. You know what genocide means? It's not a nice word. So yeah. So since they didn't use that, uh, that became Metropolis Act 3. There's other stuff in the Sonic 2 beta I could talk about, but that's the only one that's re relevant to this point. If you want, I could talk about that stuff later. But for now, Metropolis Zone kind of sucks a lot. So spin dash under the spikes. So, yeah, good thing is that we're going to become supersonic here. Super. <laughs> Super is going to be good here. I hate the way how it's triggered in the other stats, but the vulnerability could be the most useful aspect here. So we don't really need to grab those, so let's go. Special Stage 7. The hardest special stage. Go figure. <laughs> A hundred rings. There we are. Now this is the part, this section is where it pays to have two players. You can have one person on one side and the other person on the other side. As one person, you have to keep jumping back and forth to hope that you hope and grab as many as you can. With two players, this becomes very easy. So I jumped when I should when I should have stayed. It's a very easy pattern, but sometimes they'll do double on one side. Be careful there. They're 113. I did okay by myself. 150. Yeah, this is where. It, yeah, the computer player will still be useless there. So yeah, you need a second human player. Yeah, this one is just a standard left-right pattern of, of rings and bombs. Left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Then it goes into a bunch of left, left sides here. Then a couple more alternating. There. Cool. And the last section, 190 rings. They already got the amount of rings, but this, as you can see here, how you just to grab most of these, you know? They're scattered all over the place. Then you get one round of those and a round of bombs. And a bomb hoop. And another section of rings you can't hardly grab. And another hoop. Yeah, another group of bombs. And a final section of rings. It pays to do good in the first two sections because you're not, you're probably not going to grab a lot in, in that in, in the last section. Yep, we got it. 225 Emerald Seven gets. That's all of them. I don't know what fruit is gray. No idea. I still haven't. I still don't have one for light blue yet either. Yep, now Sonic can become Super Sonic. I don't like the way Super Sonic gets triggered in this game, but eh, it works for our purposes. In this game, when you soon as you get 50 rings and jump, you'll become Super Sonic. No additional button presses, you immediately become Super Sonic as soon as you jump, which I do not like. I like the Sonic 3 and Knuckles trigger better, where you press jump again while in the air to trigger it. That works better. Without a shield, though. You can't have a shield. Okay, we have 50 rings, uh, and Super Sonic. Now, Super Sonic's abilities are higher speed, acceleration, and jumping capabilities, and he's invulnerable. Bad thing is that he's harder to control than regular Sonic. So, move out of the way. There, I want to go down there. And as you can also see, every, every second you spend a Super Sonic drains a ring. So you gotta keep grabbing rings or you'll come out of Super Sonic with no rings. Which is kind of bad, you know? Especially if you're in a tight spot. So, if I had a choice, I wouldn't be using Super Sonic at all. Because I would rather have an additional trigger. 
but the game is, is forcing me to, but oh well. You can see how easier this is making it. Just, I just, I'm just plowing through everything. There we are. So you, you, don't, you don't want to fall down there, you have to run through that part of the course again, the act again. So you don't want to fall down there either. There. There, this is the bottom of the shaft. The shaft, you know, I'm off screen. See, the shaft will keep falling. You have to try to work your way to the right. There we are. What? I'm gonna grab a couple more rings. I know there's a hidden, there's a hidden alcove there too. There's no platform there. Fine, screw it. I hit an alcove of a checkpoint, and that's about it. Let's finish the act. See, because of Super Sonic, I'm finishing the act much faster. I can't, and plus, I, I can't keep all my rings since Super Sonic drains the rings. Act 2. More annoyingness. Yay. Now we have lava. Oh boy. Lava! Yeah. Gotta avoid the lava. So, gotta wait till the platform comes up. Oh. Why does it have to be right there? Why, ask? Why? I would have gotten hit either way, you know? Oh, what's with the enemy placement in this zone? What's with the enemy placement here? You saw that crap, right? How was I supposed to dodge that, you know? The enemy placement in this zone. Why? So I'm not. I'm not minding taking as many hits here because I'm gonna lose most of the rings of supersonic anyway. But why? These, this enemy placement in this zone sucks. The obstacles, the enemy placement. This zone just plain sucks. I hate this zone. Well, I, I'm gonna have to jump here. So I might as well trigger it now. Yeah. Nah, I can't get back up there. Oh well. I want to go down this way anyway. So now I'm invulnerable. I can take all the take all the abuse. There's a hidden alcove here. We jump through it and jump down near 30 rings and boxes. There we are. Now we're going to continue down this, there's a checkpoint, we're going to continue down this way. There we are. There's a hidden path down there, we come up from down there, but there's, a, there's not really a lot of rings from coming up that way. And plus, I don't have time to goof off because I'm going to keep losing rings. i got to hurry up so I can get as much ring bonus as I can. And I might get some time bonus, too. Is spin these. Uh, now you can hit me, huh? I'm invulnerable. There we are. There's a one up down here. If you need it. There we are. See the one up monitors are even modeled to look like supersonic, and you can see the live counters look like supersonic too. Sixty lives. Yeah. So I hate the way supersonic controls, but the invulnerability is nice. Makes the it makes Metropolis very easy, as you can see. Nope. Oh. Fell. Nope, I fell again. This is the part where I hate, hate being super sonic. Find good, precise control. Don't really have precise control here. There we are. In the act. Under three minutes. That went fast for me. It wasn't me, it was super sonic. I could have been slow as crap, but I would have been losing all those ring bonuses. I can't, got out of a good bit of rings if I say so myself. Act 3. Because they had to make a third act of this crap. See, there's a crap load of rings up here. There's another one of these 50 guys here. I hate those guys. I hate everything here. I hate the, hate the Starmies. I hate the flurry Mantis thingies. I hate the 50 crabs. I hate everything here. Now, more crushers. That's lovely. The crushers suck. I hate this zone. I want to get out of here. I just want to get out of here. Now these starbies are 
not gonna make things easy for me. Star you, star me. But they both look the same. Star you. That one. Yeah, star you is that one. Sir. I've only been playing Pokemon since Generation One. <laughs> Whoa, Dodo. See, I hate these guys. I hate these guys. I hate these guys so much. Yeah. One. I'm almost a Viddy. I want a Viddy. A Viddy. There. And I transform while stuck in the door. That's that's lovely. Oh, they saw the ring box down there. That's kind of important to grab. If you want, you can go up that way, but we're gonna go down this way because more rings this way. More rings. There's hidden alcoves here. There's a shield here. If you want it. In case I do come out of Supersonic, I have a shield. There's another hidden alcove this way. There's 10, 20 rings in an extra life. And we're going to continue along this way. Now, this part sucks if you're not invulnerable because you saw that, right? There's a band that's right there, ready to get you. If I wasn't Supersonic, I probably would have got hit. The enemy placement just sucks a lot. But as Super Sonic, I can just plow through everything. Makes things a lot easier. Hey, I don't need to wait for that. Oh, I'm getting stuck in the gears. Come on. Come on, Sonic. Stop being hard to control. There, that works. There's a checkpoint down there, but I don't really need to touch it, dude. Don't I? There. And as the final climb, there's two long bolts here to climb. These are pretty long. Even with Supersonic's enhanced speed, it's going to take a few, quite a few seconds. There we are. And careful, you gotta slow down here. You gotta ride this, ride this along, or you can jump over it like that. A couple more rings. Now we're Botnik. I'm gonna to defeat this guy quick, but I'll let him come down. See, what he'll do is that he'll have those spinny things around him, and when you run into him, he'll drop one of his doppelgangers. See, as Super Sonic, he, he'll stay up there, and if you're a regular Sonic, you won't be able to jump high enough to hit him, but as Super Sonic, you'll hit him with ease. Even if you kill him, his clones will still stay there. Which is kind of odd. But yeah, that was easy. You didn't even get to hear me sing. See, you can see the clones coming in, too. Okay, I say that was strange. That was strange. You saw that, right? That was strange. Anyway, I'll sing one bar for you. Dr. Robotnik, he's a bad guy. Dr. Robotnik, he's a bad guy. There, got it in for you. I know you wanted to hear it. So yeah, see you next time.